Hi guys, this is Mark Shawson, the Pattern Trader. And in this video, I'm going to share with you uh, how I made $185,000 uh, personally uh, in a trade in just a few minutes. Uh, now, as I usually do, I uh, always back up my claims. It seems no matter what I do, there's always some skeptics. Uh, I saw a video like this that I just published, and there's always one guy who just has a million threads you know, calling me a scam artist, artist, a fraud, what have you. And no matter what I do, I can turn myself inside out. I know some of you uh, will always be skeptical. And that's fair. No, no problem. But before me, I just wanted to show you that I have a personal uh, Merrill Edge account in the United States. Uh, here's my name. Uh, here's a recent account balance. Uh, and now I'm going to show you uh, some trades in my Merrill Edge account uh, substantiating that I made $185,000 uh, in just a few moments. In this screenshot, I'm showing you a series of trades uh, that were made in my brokerage account at Merrill Edge uh, in the company called Merca do Libra Incorporated, at which point uh, I shorted the stock a hair under $328 and covered my trades a half hour later, almost $30 lower. So I shorted the stock at almost $328. And about half hour after I shorted the stock, I was able to cover uh, those short sales at $300, uh, pocketing a profit of $76,000 uh, on the short sales of the stock in Merca del Libra. The ticker symbol is M-E-L-I. Now, simultaneously with shorting the stock, I also bought a handful of put options uh, and made about $125,000 on those, which I will show you momentarily. So again, here is um, an example of where I got short MELI at about $328 and covered my trades, my short trades at $300 uh, about a half hour after I initiated the trade and pocketed about $76,000 uh, on those trades. In this screenshot is uh, a copy of my trades in the put options of the ticker symbol MELI uh, just before it collapsed from a stock price of $328 to $300. I bought 198 puts and made $127,000 on that trade. Now, I suppose I can trade, but I, I guess I can't count because uh, in the last screenshot I said I made a combined profit of $185,000. It turns out the combined profit was actually $203,000. Uh, when we take into consideration the $76,000 I made uh, in the stock, uh, the short stock trade, uh, and uh, the um, purchase of these put options, which uh, made a total profit of over $127,000. And again, you can see in my Merrill Lynch account, um, here's the Merrill Lynch account right here. Uh, and here are all of the trades. Now there were many others that comprised the 198. I just wasn't able to show it on the screenshot, but here is the total value of those trades. Again, a profit of $127,000 on these uh, put order uh, in MELI and in combination with the short sales netted me over $203,000. Now I'm going to go to the actual chart of MELI and show you exactly what I was looking at at the time that I put in these trades. In the chart before me is the stock MELI. Mercado Libra Incorporated, ticker symbol M-E-L-I. And it was at this point right here that I went short the stock at $328 and bought a handful of puts, the combination of which netted me over $203,000 in just a few minutes after the stock collapsed uh, to under $300 in the extended hours session. So what led me uh, to make this short sale and uh, this aggressive uh, purchase of put options in MELI. 
Well, at the time I was looking at the chart pattern of a classic head and shoulders where we see the head, the left shoulder, and the right shoulder. And perhaps if I draw it in, it makes this a little bit more clear. So you have the left shoulder, the head, and what appears to be the right shoulder. And then there was a catalytic event uh, coming out at or close to that time. And because of this pronounced head and shoulders bear price pattern, it uh, incentivizes me to put on a large order to take advantage of what I thought was going to be an impending fall in this market that was all set up by the price action in the weeks, days, and months prior to this catalytic event. Now, on Thursday, I'm going to have a special webinar at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to tell you exactly uh, my methodology, my strategy, how I do certain things before certain catalytic events uh, to jump on trades that in this case netted me over $200,000 uh, between the time that I went short here and a half an hour before the stock touched $300. So uh, I hope to see you all there, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, before I do, uh, obviously I'm sharing with you uh, trades that were extremely uh, rewarding, extremely profitable. Uh, I employ this strategy on an ongoing basis. Obviously, there are times where uh, it is not uh, successful, and I just want to share with you a couple of examples there. In this chart is the stock Adobe, ticker symbol ADBE. And it was at this point that I recommended buying the stock of Adobe prior to a certain catalytic event uh, because I surmised this uh, stock was in a well entrenched uptrend and that uh, any uh, event or news uh, would support that uptrend. And as you can see, despite actually the event corroborating uh, the growth or the strength of the stock, the stock actually uh, sold off after I bought it and I was only able to cover uh, at this point. So I bought it uh, near the high of where the green arrow is. I sold where the red arrow is, and I lost about $8,000. Uh, but as you can see, uh, this is a, a portfolio approach where uh, if I make four to one, six to one, eight to one a risk reward as I did uh, in the case of MELI, I can uh, take a, a lot of losers also. So even if I have 50% losers and my average gain is four to six times greater than my average loss, uh, you can see how this very quickly uh, could be a winning strategy.